The last of the four pillars concerns values, equality and accountability. Our group's values are the important beliefs that guide our attitudes and actions towards others. They help us to determine what matters to our community and describe the kind of group we want to be to the world around us. So let's think a bit more about what we mean by values. These are based on our shared ideas about the issues our communities face and how you do things as a group to overcome these. So they are about what you think are the right and wrong ways that people treat each other and treat refugees in particular. In fact, your groups often form to change something unfair or unjust like the way people are supported when they arrive or the asylum decision system. These choices are already being driven by your values. Because values are about things that really matter in people's lives, groups are most effective and work better together when they share values, and much less well if they don't. So what are the values that really matter to groups supporting refugees? Well, shared support is very important by helping your community to overcome the pain of the refugee journey, find the support they might need, and to help each other settle successfully in Scotland without losing their identity. Dignity to promote respect for the rights and opinions of refugees and asylum seekers and understanding their needs and that of their new community and supporting them. Promoting equality and inclusion by understanding differences in your community and treat everyone fairly no matter their immigration status, race, ethnic origin, gender, physical ability or sexual orientation. This includes ensuring that their voices have equal weight in your group. Integration by working for a warm welcome and acceptance for the future, including the qualities and culture that new Scots bring to their new communities. Accountability to each other in your group and to your community as a whole for the decisions you make and for the personal behaviours to each other. And by working for social justice, which means trying to deliver these values in people's lives and working for wider human rights in communities. The values which affect how you run your group also matter to others who are important in supporting what you do. For example, funders. Funding programme aims are often driven by values like including excluded people or promoting integration. When funders support you, it's often because they can see that you can help them deliver these aims through ways of working rooted in common values that you share with them. Partners and specialist agencies like Scottish Refugee Council or the NHS will also work better with you where your shared values influence how you work. Like when you help them to reach the most excluded people in line with your values in ways that they could not easily do themselves. Where you want to work for change with politicians, campaigners for asylum rights, or the Scottish Government in implementing the new Scots strategy, it's much easier to achieve this by recognising each other's shared values. Community organisations tend to hold values of openness and accountability to their members. Your members have a right to know what you do and why. And achieving this involves encouraging them to be able to ask questions, to hold wider meetings or events where they can discuss what is being done in their name, by providing full reports at your annual general meetings so they can see what is happening with the strategic direction and the finance of your organisation, to encourage their active involvement in all aspects of the group and the election of the committee and by providing information on a regular basis through things like a newsletter or social media, as well as face-to-face -face contact. Your values are only useful if you put them into action. They should affect how you run your group on a day-to-day -day basis. If you believe in values of equality, inclusion, and integrity and openness, you have to ensure that everyone has a chance to shape what you do in your group 
and also how you do it. As a committee, you're responsible for ensuring that the decisions you take are in line with your values.